my short film that got into Soho International Film Festival is called Distractions. Okay. It's a short about how young people nowadays are so addicted to their technologies mm -hmm. and that they are disconnected to their reality world. Right, right, so like I am. They're always on their phones, texting, Facebooking, Twittering, uh -huh. but not looking where they're going. Oh, and Across that. the street without looking at cars, bumping down a block, bumping into people. Uh -huh. And there have many, everybody has their iPod nowadays, so they're blasting music. Right, for years right. Also. That can be dangerous. Oh yeah, super dangerous. That's basically what the film's about. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, can you just tell us um, a little bit about the development of Distraction? How we start developing Distraction is uh, I wanted to write something that's new, innovative, a topic nobody's ever touched on yet. Right. That I hope not yet as of now. Um, and my coach always taught me that, hey, you young people are always on these devices, you know, um, you don't even concentrate on what's going on. Do you even read the newspaper? Mm -hmm. Do you even look where you're going? Do you even know who's sitting next to you? And that just hit me all of a sudden. I'm like, wow, that's true. Wherever we go, we, have, we see people on their phones, they're on their iPads, or iTouch, they're on their computer. They are disconnected to everything that's around them. You know, there might be someone like, you'll see a, I'm not sure if it ever happened to you, but it's definitely it happened to me, I almost bump into like a tree as I'm texting. I'm That's happened. <laughs> so, uh, you know. Because we're distracted. We're distracted. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> so basically that's what my film is about. And uh, that's why I wanted to make a film where it's not a PSA, it's not reality, but something that would hit you afterwards. Okay, cool. I think when it's become a PSA, when people are talking about stuff that has happened to them. Right. It gives you a very different presence to it. Okay. When it's, um, when it's a fiction, uh -huh. you can be as abstract as possible as you want, and mm -hmm. people can think about it afterwards. Wow, that could happen to me. Right, Not right. like, oh, that happened to someone. Okay. You know? Right. I start writing because I want to. I want to write stories to inspire people. Right. Um, more like when you walk out of the theaters, I was like, oh my God, this can happen. Um, I'm inspired. Uh -huh. I want to do this. Or um, life isn't that bad. Yeah. Life can go on. Right. So I, I try to I try to make a, a like my feature that I'm starting to write. Oh, well, like I wrote that's in the hand of an agent right now. Uh huh. It's about how everybody loses hope and there's points of everyone's life when you feel like you hit a dead end. Yeah. And and people think that hey, maybe I should give up on life. And my film comes across like where there's hope, even though you think you hit a dead end. There's so many people out there, it's so much worse than you, and they're still surviving. Right. So I don't want people to give up hope.